Psychological horror adventure games are commonplace for indie horror games. Each one brings interesting stories and ideas to the table, but not all of them manage to deliver a solid experience. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a psychological horror game that looks to capture your imagination with its pixel art style, puzzle-solving gameplay, and a very eerie story, all in a dream-like setting. Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy, and this is my non-spoiler review for After Dream for the PS5. The game was developed by Jesse Makonen and published by Feardemic. After Dream follows the story of Jennifer, who narrates her experience with a recent dream that she had where everything felt real. Was the dream real or not? And who are the ghosts that she meets in this dream, and what does it all have to do with her? It's up to you to explore the dream and find the answers. The game story is told through dialogue and cutscenes. So let's talk about the visuals of this game. After Dream features some stylized pixel art style with some weird tones of color. The game takes place in a dream-like setting and honestly, the levels and the way you interact, solve puzzles and move forward really feels as if you were following dream logic. Each stage that you go through is diverse and carries the dream aesthetic in different ways, and each stage is filled with a lot of details in the background that really make it a pleasure to look at. The game also features a very particular filter that gives this feeling as if you were watching through a TV almost, and that really helps and adds to the dream-like sensation of the visuals. In terms of performance, all I can say is that the game ran consistently and I had no bugs or frame rate drops whatsoever. So let's talk about the music. This game features some very atmospheric music that at the same time it's not only atmospheric but intense. The sound effects are very well designed, you can hear the crunchy sounds of the footsteps of the main character and different particular sounds in the environment that really give you like an intimate feeling in that setting. The music generates tension when it needs to, and there are other moments where we get whimsical tones, particularly when we meet new characters. And again, it all works very well for the dream-like setting. Let's talk about the gameplay. After Dream is a 2D psychological horror adventure game. The game focuses on puzzle solving, exploration, and story. The game is divided in stages. Each stage has multiple puzzles to solve in order to finish it. You will have to search every nook and cranny for key items to interact with characters or objects in the environment. The main mechanic of the game comes in the form of the camera, which can be used in one of two ways, to flash in the darkness or to take photos in certain predetermined areas to make items appear or disappear. This adds an interesting layer to the gameplay and exploration that manages to keep the puzzle solving and exploration interesting and goes perfectly well with the dream setting. In each stage you will find different characters with whom you can talk. All of them are very particular and interesting. Conversations with them will help you understand more what's happening in the story, and in some cases you will have to find specific items for them to solve puzzles. In terms of level design, each stage is pretty limited in space and this actually works in the game's favor. Because of the size of the levels, you won't ever find yourself wasting time wandering around not knowing what to do. If you can't find a way to move forward, it's probably because you have to use the camera somewhere in the stage. 
In this sense, the size of the stage feels just right and it helps the pacing of the game. Additionally, the puzzles in this game are really manageable and don't require you to be a genius to solve. The puzzles are either easy to understand or the clues to solving them are nearby. Again, the size of the stages helps here too because you won't find yourself wandering endlessly for clues because of how discreet the stages are. After Dream is a short game, lasting around 2 hours to complete. So let's talk about the cons and the pros of this game. And I'm gonna start out with the cons because I only have one complaint and it's minimal. I guess the only complaint I have is in regards to the jump scares of the game. There were certain moments in the game where you knew that a jump scare was happening because of the audio cue, but by looking at the screen, you couldn't see anything because it was too dark. And this happened a few times throughout my playthrough. That's a problem because it takes you a little bit out of the experience and it leaves the player wondering, what did I miss? So let's talk about the pros of this game. I'm gonna point out two things. First of all, the gameplay. I found the gameplay to be engaging and interesting from beginning to end, and it really doesn't overstay its welcome. The camera mechanic was interesting, and it really added another layer to the gameplay that I really enjoyed. Secondly, the visuals. The visuals of this game are excellent. The pixel art style, the weird coloring of the stages, and the design of the stages. Everything was very visually pleasing and interesting. In conclusion, After Dream is a solid 2D psychological horror adventure game. The game's gameplay and pixel art visuals are the star of the show and make this game a solid offering for any horror game enthusiast. For this reason, I recommend After Dream for the PS5. The link to the game's page will be in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.